guys and gals. Still having fun on the farm here in Kentucky. We're gonna launch the boat today and go set floats, catfish floats. We gathered as many together as we could and we're gonna leave them out here for, you know, I don't know, four or five hours and we're gonna come back. We're gonna leave the boat down here and see if we can have catfish for dinner. So stay tuned. chunks made with uh, marinated in black cherry Kool-Aid like that powdered stuff that comes in those little packets yes yep uh, soak it for 24 hours or longer it don't matter and then you can freeze it and that's chicken breast is it raw or cooked it's raw raw chicken breast yep. marinated in cherry Black cherry Kool-Aid. Yep. Gotcha. What are you doing here, Chris? I'm going to throw a shad net, see if we can catch some shad. Oh, I had one. <laughs> I had one. All right, guys. Well, Chris caught caught some. There's some crappie little ones in there, and then there's some shad. That's gonna be our bait for the bigger catfish. Okay, guys, we got a float that came over to the side here since we set it last night, and we got a good a good idea that there's something on it. Beautiful. those? Yeah. So my buddy Chris and I, this is Chris by the way, you're going to see him a lot more because he got a really cool boat, which I'm going to do a nosy vehicle boat review while I'm here, but we'll get to that. But uh, we caught a big channel cat, about six or seven pounds is what Chris was thinking. And we got a little mud cat. And we're gonna take them back to the house here and then Chris is gonna show me how to fillet them or scale them or whatever you do with a, with a catfish. I'm learning. So I wanna become a catfish slayer. <laughs> it's either a mud cat or a flathead. A lot of people call them mud cats. A mud cat or a flathead? Yeah. Okay. All right, so stay tuned guys. We're gonna cook these up. That's a flathead, you Flat, say? Flathead. Yeah. How can you tell? Look at the wide of the head. Just how wide his head is. Yeah. Oh, did I go fishing without you? You would have just been cold. You would have just complained about it. Oh, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. What's this tool? What's this tool it's, called, Chris? It's a catfish skinner. Uh, I call it a catfish pliers, or it works real good to catch the skin mm -hmm. and pull it off. Kind of only fish I've ever seen that you actually skin them. Yeah.
a lot of meat.